you. Yes, you. You're special. Yes, you are. You're so very special. Yes, you are. You're a unique little snowflake. And so are you. And so are you. And yes, you over there hiding in the back. Yes, you are. You're just the most precious little flower in all the world. It doesn't matter if you win or lose in life as long as you participate. The world is your oyster. That's right. You're all very special little snowflakes. Now there. Don't you all just feel better about yourselves? Well, good. Because if you believe even a fraction of that fucking horse shit, you ain't gonna make it. Don't you let anyone make fun of your fashion sense. You're a grown man and those Crocs look wonderful. Capri pants are very masculine and slimming. I'm Adele. And this is fucked up. Stupid people, my god, you're everywhere. You think Walmart would have a monopoly on this sort of thing, but you fuckers breed like rabbits. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blame Netflix. It's not all bad after all. The day Russia auto insurance companies made drivers install dash cams, quality of YouTube entertainment has gone up a hundredfold. But human stupidity covers such a broad range that I can't possibly go into it in just a few minutes. That's why I have a feeling that this show will be around for quite a few seasons. No, today I think I'll talk about the ever so precious snowflake with a tender heart. Millennials, the generation of pussies. Now don't get me wrong, I'm a straight dude and boy do I love me some scrambled eggs between the legs, even if it does look like a gun went off inside you. No, I'm directing this at you whiny crybaby motherfuckers who think the world owes you something because you feel privileged even though you've done absolutely nothing to deserve it. After we're done here today, make sure to tell your therapist that I said hi. Maybe a kickback for all the work I'm sending their way wouldn't be out of the question. So, why does this make you stupid? Well, I'm glad you asked. For starters, a recent study claims that college professors and even high school teachers are essentially giving up and grading easier because they're afraid of their students' emotional reactions. That's right, kids are working their way through college and expected to pay off their massive student loans with a degree in such in-demand careers as liberal arts, demystifying the hipster, the science of superheroes, and I shit you not, how to watch television. But don't worry kiddo, I'm sure in all those years you've worked as a barista selling overpriced $40 grande hot decaf triple five pump vanilla no fat no foam whipped cream extra hot extra caramel upside down caramel mocha cheetos with sprinkles was worth it for your bachelor's degree in Lady Gaga and the sociology of fame. Now this problem wouldn't be so bad if these farts in a bag would just have the decency to off themselves, but these dipshits are having kids of their own, which are being raised on so much organic special snowflake bullshit that they'll probably have a psychological breakdown the second someone tells them they're not as special as they think they are. I get it, life can be hard and cruel and words can cut deep sometimes, like the time you were told that Santa and the Easter Bunny had a three-way with Bigfoot. None of them are real, but still, you cried yourself to sleep like the lactating man-child you are, all curled up in a onesie while the TV sang Soft Kitty. You could grow up and realize that the world is full of opportunity if you suck it up and apply yourself, or you could continue to pressure the world to coddle you, which will ultimately lead to rejection from society. At this point, if anything I'm saying is getting through that L'Oreal Revlon-soaked head of yours, you're either crying hysterically or screaming at the screen while your certified emotional support dog walks away to lick his balls. That's because even animals know when something is so weak, it's better to just abandon it and let it die with what little dignity it has left, which in your case is more than likely sitting at the bottom of a box of organic, fair trade, shade-grown, biodynamic dirt. But whenever I see a problem, I like to offer some advice and try to correct the situation. I'm just that sort of person. Yes, I am. I'm a giver. It's what I do. So a few remedies for this kind of behavior will have you integrated into society in no time. These remedies include walking down a dark alley, singing money, money, who wants money with an extra pair of diapers. I hear Huggies have the elastic waistband now. Going to a walk-in clinic and asking for a prescription for a pair of testicles. The hairy kind, none of that manscaped crap, that defeats the purpose. Oh, and if the attending is a woman, so much the better. Odds are she can show you how to use them properly. You are not a precious little flower. You are not a special little snowflake. The world doesn't owe you anything, it was here first. And every time I hear one of you idiots refer to your 17 year old as my child, you make me want to kill myself and everyone around me. In all seriousness, I do have one burning question though. What's it like to be so pathetic and weak that mere words and the opinions of others cripple you? 
Well, that's all I got for today. Be sure to chew on that and think deeply while I go off and cash in some stocks over at Pfizer. Oh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and all of that other fucking shit. Daddy needs some Adderall. <laughs>